guys, today I wanted to give you a tip again uh, if you're autistic or on the spectrum or whatever, anything like that. Um, I said this before, I'm gonna say it again. Do not go on around announcing people your diagnosis. Don't tell people you are autistic or you're on the spectrum or you are a bed wetter. <laughs> I got someone like that once. Don't do that. Do not do that. Nobody cares. Um, if you need people to behave a certain way towards you, then you want to be very specific and explain to them what you want them to do for you, right? So if you're hard at hearing, you can exactly let them know what they need to do, whether they need to use um, sign language or articulate so you can read their lips or speak louder. So you just say, please, I need you to, or talk to this side this year instead of this, because I can't hear you. Um, if you're autistic and I, I don't know what, what manifestation you may have, you, you would know, um, then you can let them know that you have this particular tick or, or something, whatever it is. Uh, so the person, so it doesn't caught them by surprise right? You know, when you make announcements like that, people don't know how to react. They don't know what that means. And I know this from personal experience because I have a lot of parents who bring me their autistic children to me. And I look at the child, I'm like, I don't know what they're talking about. I don't understand it. What do you mean? What do you mean? And, oh, yes, yes, he's autistic. I'm like, fine. I don't, I don't get it. I'm talking to him normally. He's responding normally. We're getting along. I, I don't know what that title and that label is, and it anno it annoys me so much. So this is why I'm giving you um, this advice because I wish the parents instead would tell me he has a tendency of doing this, or he has trouble doing that, or he, you know, give me something specific, something I can use. You telling me someone is autistic is not helping anybody. It's not helping the autistic person or me to communicate, um, to interact more efficiently. Make sense? So don't do it. Uh, for the bedwetter, yeah, this was a kid that I had at one of the summer camps that I work at a few years ago. Um, she's a teenager. She was, I don't know, 13 years old. And uh, she announced to the whole, you know, the group of girls, uh, she was a bedwetter. Like, why would you do that? You know, um, she obviously, she had diapers and she, you know, she had that taken care of. But now she made everybody wonder and everybody uncomfortable and weird, or they treated her differently, right? Because she's a bedwetter. She didn't need to announce it. She didn't need to tell everybody, I have this thing, unless it was necessary for a specific reason. And I'm still trying to find out what that reason was. It was not necessary. Nobody needs to know. You know, subconsciously, obviously, you make these announcements because I think subconsciously you want people to come to your aid or to feel sorry for you or to, you know, say, oh, you poor thing, nice thing, let me lend you a hand. Um, well, that goes against everything I teach. It is the wrong approach for you, for your life. You don't want to do that. You want to stand strong, own whatever it is you are, whoever you are, whatever characteristics uh, make you, however you are, this is you and you are the only one who's responsible for you. You are the boss of you, nobody else. And I know, especially when we're young and you have this, this feeling that someone's gonna take care of you, you know, usually mom and dad are around and, and they take care of you. And if you're in disarray or something bad happens, you can get a little more attention from people. And sometimes you think that's the way to go. It's not the way to go. <laughs> you will find out soon enough, you know, because life will show it to you. So you don't have to take my word for it. But I am letting you know because I don't want you to be disappointed. And if you expect to receive things from the outside of you, you will always be disappointed. The best friend you have and you will always have is yourself. So remember, love yourself.
<laughs> be kind to yourself. Remember that you are the boss of you and you are meant to be happy always. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. All my love.